So unfortunately, the camera wasn't recording when I pressure rinsed the engine bay, but I'm going to repeat what I said. There's a common misconception that putting water into the engine bay is a bad thing. However, if you look through any engine bay, you will see huge openings all over the place. And that's because if you drive, let's say up the M1 in the heavy rain, the water is going to go up into the engine. Don't forget all connections are splash proofed, especially on a car like this, anything modern, splash proofed. So I've already rinsed it down. You're going to see me rinse it down anywhere after this treatment. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to saturate the engine bay in the Yum Undress, which is fantastic on plastics, rubbers, anything like that on the exterior this product will just degrease and decontaminate super super quick now what i'm going to do on top of that as well is i'm going to add a very good dose of yum foam through the pf22 and what's that going to do it's it's not used for any more cleaning power it's literally used to add an extra lubricating layer as i'm moving any of the ingrained dirt that hasn't come off with the pre-rinse so i've covered the top Now what's interesting is the same stuff that is on the paint is on the painted surfaces here. So I've never seen anything like it before. So now take your PF22 for the Yum Foam and we're good to go. that's left is you take the same tools that you would use for your wheel and tire cleaning so in this case the biggest wheel woolly and this is perfect for where your hands can't reach brushes can't reach and it molds around any of the wiring that can be found in the engine bay now I've been doing this for a long time there is literally no there's no problems in doing this step if it doesn't fit you can take a medium wheel woolly like in this case and continue the process now you can either take the yum cars detailing brush or the yum cars face brush and do it i like to have both on hand so on a larger area like this so in the badge take a detailing brush but on the large flat panels just want to knock it down like so. Just keep agitating. You don't want to be putting any stupid pressure on it. You should just move the products around, let the brush and the product strength do its job. Work smart, not hard. Try and get every possible surface you can see. Now while the engine bays up, the scuttle panel is a lot easier to access. flat bits I like to use a combination of both so on the latch I would recommend just a soft detail and brush but on these flat areas you can move the product so quick it's dripping on my face now people are going to have an absolute shock when they see very expensive car like this covered in foam in the engine bay but trust me guys just listen to me super safe super efficient a few of these hoses which are dark plastic clean them up as best as you can because when you start to dress them they're going to look amazing now all you want to do now is give it a very thorough rinse i would recommend starting from top down so all the dirt in the foam is going to fall here and then this will just get all rinsed away now 
now where you're going to start seeing that's why i'm checking under the car there's a big torrent of foam that's now rolling underneath the car and this is what i mean about the holes it's perfect draining spot But as you can see there, there's just a lot of foam now coming out and that's where the drainage holes become from the bottom of the engine bay. One times clean engine bay. Now, here's my party trick. You've got two ways of doing this now. You can either dry the engine bay off, which is quite hard because it's unprotected, but it's still, you can dry it. And then you can use a product that's called Yum Dress. This will bond so well to now the exfoliated plastics and you can leave it for up to 24 hours, a week, you can come back to the engine bay and inspect it and this way you can knock down the dressing if it's too shiny for you or you can add more layers if you want it even more shiny. Now we're developing a different type of dressing. Now again you can use this wet or dry but my party trick is what I like to do while the engine bay is wet is I like to put a nice coating across the whole engine bay and I'm liberal with this so I'll, I'll spray it everywhere and what this will do this will bond with the water I'm going to close the bonnet now and I will come back to the engine bay once we've finished there we go once we finish the full correction, this will be bone dry. This will emulsify with the water fantastically and it will give you a very satiny sheen, which is really, really important for me. Now, if there is a few high spots, which there very rarely is, but if there is, all you've got to do is take a wheel microfiber, give it a quick wipe over. You can even add a bit more onto the towel, wipe it over, boom. But for me, usually 99.9% .9 of the time, I just close the bonnet. I inspect it a week later and it's perfect. So personally, that's how I detail the engine bay. Now, sometimes I may not use the whole foaming step every time. I will always use undress on it. So I will continue to maintain the engine bay like this every three months. So I will always rinse it down. I will always clean it with the undress and top it with either this or the Yum Dress. Same technology, just slightly different formulations. Now, if you do this every three months, the engine bay will just look absolutely amazing every single time. And as I said, guys, it's totally safe. I've done this on the Mustang. I've done it on the other cars that we've had. Every customer's car that comes in for a full detail will have this treatment done. And it just looks fantastic every time. So that's the engine bay episode done. Hope you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one.